<laughs> Hello, uh, dear listeners. Uh, I'm Bushra Dalgic, currently master's student in biology in Çanakkale 6 Mart University. Today, my presentation subject is also my master thesis subject, and it's biosynthesis of silver nanoparticles with sorghum, seed extract, their characterization, and biological activities. Uh, so, if I have to mention about nanoparticles, it is the most basic component in making a nanostructure, and they are generally referred to as particles from one nanometer to a hundred nanometers. Uh, they, are non uh, they are known as a wide separate usage areas such as healthcare, cosmetics, uh, medicine, mechanical, chemical industries, and so. With all this using uh, purposes, no uh, nanoparticles, especially metallic nanoparticles, are quite important with their large surface and uh, significant antibacterial properties. Furthermore, silver is uh, one of the uh, metallic ions and uh, it's known as safe antimicrobial agent with potential to kill over 650 different types of disease causing organisms. It's also important and uh, center of the unlimited interest of the field uh, in nanotechnology because of their unique properties uh, such as chemical stability, good conductivity, and most importantly, antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal activities. And green synthesis is known as a biological synthesis and is the most easy and practical method uh, because of their uh, being easy, cheaper, and don't, the green synthesis don't need high pressure, temperature, energy, or the toxic chemicals. And most importantly, green synthesis is the environmental friendly. Besides all these advantages, when a uh, nanoparticle synthesis by green synthesis, uh, they don't need other stabilizing agents because plants and microorganism components in its content act as a self-coating and a stabilizing agent. Today, many studies have been reported that medical plants also are more effective by binding to the synthesized nanoparticle because of their component. And sorghum uh, we used in our study is a grain belonging to the family and is considered the fifth most produced grain in the world after wheat, rice, corn, and barley. Today, more than 7,000 sorghum varieties have been described in the world. And it's important great because of its content. Uh, there are lots of antioxidant compounds and the tannin in its content is important as anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and cardioproductive because of their radical scavenging functions. And you can see in the figure one, uh, our seed sorghum bicolor variety technical stuff exponent. Uh, it's cultivated in our country, Turkey, especially in the Trace region. And uh, we couldn't find enough research information about its biological activities, especially uh, silver nanoparticles. So we believe that determining the effects of green synthesis, the use of both plant seeds and nanoparticles can be expanded. Uh, green synthesis of silver nanoparticles carried out with the uh, aqueous extract of uh, sorghum bicolor seeds mixed with the silver nitrate solution and uh, as a result of this uh, mix, we we got the uh, silver nanoparticles. You can see in the uh, figure at C, and uh, sorghum bicolor seeds have yellow color, original yellow color, and when we mix, uh, mix it with the silver nitrate, it turns burgundy brown, and it's the first morphological observation for the silver nanoparticles. We observed their characterization with the scanning electron microscopy, size distribution analysis, and the UV visible spectroscopy. You can see in the figure three, uh, our uh, scanning electron microscopic analysis, and it confirms that the morphology of the silver nanoparticles 
with a particle size of approximately 51 to 56 nanometers and it's spherical. And figure four and figure five shows the other size distribution analysis and UV visible spectroscopy of the silver nanoparticles. We investigate the biological activities for both extract and the nanoparticles, antioxidant activity, antimicrobial activity, and DNA cleavage activity. We used one non diphenyl to pickle hydrazyl DPPH method for the antioxidant activity. This is the most easy and the rapid way to evaluate the antioxidant activity uh, by the spectrophotometer. You can see in the figure six and seven, original purple color of the DPPH radical turned to yellow when the radical scavenging activity occurs. And here figure eight shows the uh, depending on the increasing concentration, it's also our uh, both extract and silver nanoparticles antioxidant activity increase. And uh, butylated hydroxytolian is a synthetic antioxidant and we use it as a positive control in our study. For the antimicrobial anti activity, we use agar diffusion method and uh, use uh, different concentration for both extract and silver nanoparticle and uh, test it out in uh, four different bacteria. This table shows the effect of uh, both extract and silver nanoparticle uh, on different bacteria. And we can clearly see that the lowest concentration of uh, both extract and silver nanoparticles shows the highest inhibition for the gram-negative bacteria, uh, coli and protease vulgaris. For DNA cleavage activity, we uh, investigate this activity with the agorazyl electrophoresis method. This is the simple and easy method for uh, investigate the interaction with the DNA and uh, pl uh, supercoiled plasmic DNA prepared in the trees hydrocaloric acid buffer and mixed with the samples. Uh, also hydrogen peroxide uh, was used as an oxidizing agent. And we observed form one, form two, and form three of the DNA. It's a uh, form one is the original supercoiled form of the DNA. Uh, if scission occurs on one strain, occurs circular form, uh, form two uh, occurs. And if both strands are cleared, uh, clean, a linear form, form three is occur in the DNA. Uh, we investigate two forms of DNA, two, uh, form one and form two in our study. And uh, this study results show that the extract and silver nanoparticle clip plasmic DNA in presence of oxidizing agent. As a conclusion, uh, our uh, characterization studies show that the silver nanoparticles synthesize successfully and both, both extract and silver nanoparticles have significant uh, antioxidant properties and antimicrobial effects against especially gram-negative bacteria uh, were good and it was determined by the agorazyl electrophoresis method that both the extract and the uh, silver nanoparticles a clip DNA in presence of oxidizing agent. Uh, this study supported by a grant very grateful for the uh, financial support and grateful for the custom on the for the characterization. And especially I am thankful and grateful for my supervisor, Dr. Desan Demir. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>